All right, I'm going to make a fucking salad. Uh, it'd be a really good salad if for a person that was on a ketogenic diet. Um, it's going to have lettuce. Well, I'll fucking show you what it's going to have when uh, I put it all together. But, yeah, I just, funny funny story. I, I got another channel where I do videos in Portuguese. Uh, Cause I'm learning how to speak Portuguese, and fucking a man, it's like some cringe-worthy shit. Like, um, Ethan and Ela could probably do a fucking nice video on my nice reaction video to my fucking Portuguese videos. They're so fucking cringy, man. Uh, anyway, I'm in a good mood today, cause I fucking, as you all know. I fucking woke up today with a loose back, feeling good. My neck's feeling like super good, like almost no pain at all, for real. My my hand is like almost completely like functional. It's like, it's awesome. So I'm gonna start fucking busting out these ingredients and then I'll just fucking put it together and we'll see what comes out. All right, so let's see, get some light in this bitch. Uh, I got the fucking salad ready. I got all the shit prepped. So let's take a look over here. I got some iceberg lettuce that I cut here. And I'm just going to fucking toss some tomatoes that I chopped. And some carrots. And then I, I uh, actually hard-boiled some eggs. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And I just keep those, you know, on hand. Not all the time, but, you know, it's really convenient to have shit prepared. And, uh, so I'm just fucking, hopefully I don't spill any of this shit anywhere. All over the place. Alright. And I got some sardines up in here. Yeah. Sardines, I know. Some of you might think that's fucking nasty, but it's really good for you. A lot of omega threes and fucking they're wild caught, so really good stuff. All right, it's really hard to do shit with one hand, but I'm trying to mash them up. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of like a. Let me just throw this on here quick, you know, get into, fuck, I'm gonna have to scrape that out later, but, ah, it's hard to fucking open that one hand, because I got all this grease on my hands from, I don't know what the fuck, I got ranch, baby, boom, look at that, delicious, I'm fucking, I'm gonna throw some salt in here. I got some Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna throw some salt on there because I fucking, I like salt a lot. And. I got pepper over here somewhere. Yeah. Do some, do some, some pepper. Oh shit! Fuck! That was too much pepper. Fuck it. I am in a good fucking mood today, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, my mood, my day, it all depends on how my back is feeling. And right now, I mean, my neck. Right now, my neck. I mean, I do feel some, like, pain, but it's like nothing, almost nothing. Uh, but... We'll see how long that fucking shit lasts. But I'm fucking ecstatic, man. Um, oh, and I was telling you uh, I, that I was making, before this, I was making a video on my uh, Brazilian Portuguese channel. Um, and But I didn't say what it was about. It was about how to make these cheese balls that they, they make in Brazil, that they eat in Brazil. Check this out. Boom. 
moon, baby. I'm letting those get cold in the freezer for a little bit, and then I'm going to fry them. They're like mozzarella sticks, basically, but it's like kind of a different process, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, but yeah, this, so this, this salad, uh, I mean, yeah, you could eat this shit on a, I used to be. I used to be on a ketogenic diet. I was on a, I did a, I did a ketogenic diet for about a month. No. Yeah. A month and a half. That's all I could do, dude. That fucking diet is hard as fuck. Fuck, man. I want to eat this shit. Sorry. I had to sit down and eat my salad before it gets hot. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, Mm. Fucking phone died. <clears throat> but yeah, uh So I was on a ketogenic diet a while back. I think it's probably gonna be a year now. Yeah, a year definitely since I since I last went on it. It was a month and a half that I that I lasted. Man, I've lived on junk food my whole life. Fucking cereal, cookies, candy. My mom never liked to cook. So, uh, I always just, like, dug into the pantry, and all we had in the pantry were, like, fucking crackers and cookies and cereal and Pop-Tarts. You know, once in a while, I would make myself something to eat, like some eggs or some pasta. Mm. I, I actually have a degree in culinary arts. I have an associate's degree of, in culinary arts from the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. So I know how to fucking cook, bro. <laughs> um. Fucking hey, look at my fucking posture right now. I'm fucking totally slouched over. Not giving a fuck. But, um, the ketogenic diet, if anyone knows, it's like a high-fat, low-carb diet. And, um, so, man, the only thing that would make this salad more ketogenic would be, like, some avocado some and some bacon. Although Tristan really doesn't like bacon. Tristan, he's from that, um... This channel that got me into using sardines, and where I learned all like all, most of the stuff I know about ketogenic diets. Uh, their channel is called Primal Edge Health. Health, go check them out. Uh, Tristan, Jessica, and y'all rock. So does your little your little kids and. Uh, Man, there, there are a couple that live out in Ecuador, and um, cause they got tired of the rat race here in the U.S. and they live out over there and they they do keto ketogenic diet, and uh, I recently bought their book, the Ketogenic Edge Cookbook. I bought it like two days ago. I'm not on a ketogenic diet right now, but, and I don't want to say like I would like to be on the ketogenic diet again. I would like to be, <laughs> but um, it's just so fucking hard, man. And, uh, <clears throat> fuck. So I'm thinking maybe like paleo. But even paleo, man, like, you can't eat sugar, I think. I just fucking love sugar and bread, man. It's just, it's in my blood, dude. I'm, like, Mexican. And Mexicans, they're, like, known for their diabetes. Because they eat so much rice, beans, and tortillas. Just, like, you know? It's in me to fucking eat that shit, man. But, uh... 
all that aside, ke a ketogenic diet, it's um, it's an anti-inflammatory diet. So, supposedly, because I really don't know, like, the, f I mean, I don't know, like, I guess it's a fact, but. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Fucking that carbs are inflammatory. They like inflame your joints and certain vegetable oils and like sugar and all that shit. I mean, I guess. Yeah, it's it's. No, that's what I like to believe, right? Rice, beans, all that shit. It's inflammatory, and it inflames your joints and your fucking. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just what else is it in flame? Probably your all your fucking body, your brain, and uh, so I guess it just causes increased swelling and I don't know. It's just and it puts you in like a and then it, you you produce a lot of I think cortisol. I think it's called where like you're it's like increases stress. So huge diet is supposed to be an anti like a decrease the inflammatory inflammation in your body so it helps with the joints and um, it makes you more focused I don't know if that has like anti-inflammatory uh, like effects on the brain or something that causes you to focus more but uh, it puts you more in a relaxed state and um, yeah, man, I just, uh, I don't know, man. It's just more natural to eat a ketogenic diet. I think, I mean, I don't want to get into the fucking, I mean, yeah, I think I will get into the fucking ketogenic diet. Because, uh, Carbs, like my boy Tristan says, are like they're they're um they have a time and a place, and um, that's mainly um in the summer or whenever the all these fruits they they um they come out right during the, the season where the fruits come out. Like, back in the caveman days, before industrial agriculture, you would only get fruit when the trees would give fruit. And, like, they're meant to, like, fatten you up uh, before you go into starvation, like, practically in the winter where there's, like, no fucking vegetation or nothing. And you're eating... People would just eat pure fucking fat and meat and and shit so um but most of the time they were eating low carb stuff like yeah <clears throat> ah I mean it puts a lot of stress on me to not be able to eat sugar because I'm just so addicted to it that uh, a ketogenic diet actually stresses me out. But if I were to try really hard and just stay on it for like a whole year, I'd probably adapt. But it's fucking hard, man. But I got that ketogenic cookbook. So we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, I'm eating this salad right now. It's a soup. I mean, except for the carrots, maybe. This is super. Um ketogenic man ranch dressing 
But it's hard not to be able to eat cake. That's my that's my weakness. Cake. And this shit, man, it's like now on a ketogenic diet. Mmm. Mm. I found myself drinking a lot of water. I think like you're you need more water on a ketogenic diet. Um and um that's one of the things with me, man. I don't drink fucking water. I don't but I don't drink soda either. I don't drink sugary drinks. I don't drink anything. Right. And I live out in the desert. El Paso, Texas. So I don't know how my fucking body does it, dude, but I think like my body just adapted like those fucking people that live out in the desert in Africa and shit in Egypt. To just like suck all the water out of the food that I eat. Like I do drink more water now. Alright, I got the Garifon right there. But it's nowhere close to two liters a day. Fuck no. I'll drink like two liters of water every three days. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, I don't know, man. It's just really hard for me to drink water. And, like, I know that if I, like, force it in the beginning, like, my body starts to crave it. But I just get psyched. I go through cycles, man. I can't, like, stick to it. Oh. Um, but, I mean, speaking of water, and, uh, my main, my main goal being to heal my neck, you know, I've heard a lot about, when we go on the, when we go into the nutritional aspect of healing ourselves from whatever ailments, you know, especially discs. Discs, um, discs are like, they have like this gelatinous center or whatever. I mean, people, you'll hear a lot about drinking water to hydrate your discs. It's basically what I'm trying to say when it comes to this fucking her herniations and disc health. They tell you to drink a lot of water because your discs need to hydrate. And I don't know, man. I wonder, like, maybe that was the problem with me, that I never drank any water or Coke or nothing. I really didn't drink sodas as a kid, like, nothing. Whenever I was hungry, I mean, I always felt hungry. And I'm a skinny guy, but I would always eat, like, constantly throughout the day. Well, actually, no, like, throughout my childhood. I hardly ever ate breakfast, and the lunch at the school cafeteria in the school cafeterias was shit. I like good food, so I'm not. I wouldn't eat it if it was nasty, so I wouldn't eat lunch either. And um, you know, my mom never gave me any fucking money to buy chips or anything like that. But whenever I would be able, to, whenever I could hustle some money. I would buy like a candy bar or some chips and that would be my lunch. And um And I'm not saying my mom's a bitch for not giving me money. I mean uh, We weren't we just we didn't have a lot of money. And um Yeah, she didn't know that the fucking lunch was garbage, I guess. I never told her, I think. Um and I mean, it gets expensive to like find your kid lunch. Oh. But um, yeah. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to drink more water. I've been eating like shit, like shit, for the past couple months, few months. I'm talking about 
Twinkies, muffins, cake, candy up the ass, up the yin yang. Like, I fucking love sour punch. Blue, the, the blue sour punch, blue raspberry sour punch is my favorite candy in the world. Chocolate. I was buying, I was going to Walgreens and buying like king size candy bars. Like, not even king size. They were like fucking double king size. It was like fucking big ass candy bars of Hershey's Cookies and Cream, and Kit Kat, and Recess, and Crunch Bars, and uh, I try to keep it to just drinking water, so I didn't really drink a lot of, I don't really binge on Cokes or, or sodas or nothing like that. I did try to keep drinking water throughout this whole time, but like chips, fucking processed food. I went on a processed food binge, man, because I don't really drink. I, I've never really um, done the processed food binge because... Since I was in, in uh, culinary school, maybe when I was in uh, living with my mom, yeah. But ever since I got out of culinary school, I always tried to like eat whole foods. <clears throat> but man, not too long ago, I even made a video of it on my uh, other channel. I bought a fucking 12 pack, I think, or a 20 pack of Hot Pockets. And I was just so lazy to fucking cook, man. The last thing I wanted to do was cook. This was like a month ago, a month or two ago. I was buying Hot Pockets, and I'm still in this phase, dude. I'm slowly getting out of it now. I was buying fucking Hot Pockets and pizzas, like the ones that you make your own in the oven. And, um... Pop tarts, all this shit, dude. Like, you know they got fucking, you know they sell fried Twinkies at Walmart. God damn, those are fucking good. But you know, I know all that shit's poison. Been eating a lot of fast food too. Not lately. Lately, I've just, I've been kind of just um, buying a whole bunch of junk food and, and um, eating that at home. Because I got tired of Taco Bell and uh, McDonald's and Wiener Schnitzel. It gets tired after a while. I got some coupons for Chick-fil-A. I'm probably going to go to Chick-fil-A later on today or tomorrow. Nice chicken sandwich. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, diet, diet is important. Um, I just, I try not to, I try not to go to the extreme. Um, because. I don't last, and so I'm trying to take it easy. I'm trying to find a middle ground. I'm trying to find a diet that works for me. And we go in, we go in and out of phases. It's okay to to like be keto for one month and and not be keto for another three months, and then go back to keto and do some other shit. So, but I really like the keto diet. I mean. When I was on a keto diet for that month and a half, I was like watching Primal Edge, uh, was it Primal Edge health videos every fucking day, all fucking day. And I learned so much and, uh, about the ketogenic diet. I seem to have forgotten it though, but I mean, but the, I don't know why, why I'm so hung up on it. I mean, it's just, 
I tr- I did fasting a lot too. I did fa- not a lot, but one time I did a fifty five hour fast. Fast. That shit was crazy. I did about like five twenty four hour fasts, maybe four or five of those. Um, you know, because I got all I got into this whole like getting my system cleaned out. Like I did these things because I wanted to heal my neck. Like the the main. The main reason I got into the ketogenic diet was because of the fact that it's a it's a it's a diet that decreases inflammation in the body and you know I had so I was I was thinking it was gonna help with my neck. And um and I got into first I tried out fasting. That's the first thing I tried out and uh fat I fasted for twenty four hours and the whole thing with fasting was what I what I got from it, which probably isn't the case, but uh, this is what like from the what the research I did and from like the videos and the shit that I that I saw. Um, fasting like helps heal your body, and man, like. I remember hearing about people healing herniated discs with fasting and shit like that. And um, people, there's this one guy who like healed some scars. Like he had some scars from some cuts and he healed those with fasting. But that guy, that guy took it to another level. He would like fast for like 23 days and shit. Um... That shit's fucking crazy. I mean, I don't even know how he didn't die. But, uh, yeah, um, apparently, I mean, this is the way I understand it. And, like, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But, I just get real, like, I get really scared of, like, just saying shit that's wrong. Like, I don't want anybody to misinterpret me and think that, like, I know the way it works. It's just, it's just, like, it's not even, like, my opinion. It's just, like, what I've heard is that all the energy that your body uses to digest the food, um... It like uses to heal your body once you're not putting any more food in your body your body starts like cleaning out cleaning your system like it starts all that energy it, u- it would have used into like breaking down food it uses to like flush out your system to like clean your shit and then and then it, it like uses that energy to like heal your body I mean that's that's what I heard uh, and so I was, I was really like excited. When I tried that like a, a few times, but it didn't heal my neck. And um, I was really bummed out because it takes a lot, man. It takes a lot to do a twenty-four hour fast. I mean, it doesn't come naturally to me. I like snacking all day. I'm, I'm one of those people that don't sit down to eat like a big meal, but like I'll fucking snack like a motherfucker. And. Uh, Damn, this shit's been recording for 22 minutes. No problem. No interruptions. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, not going, I did the, I wanted to do a three day fast. Good God, dude. I made it fucking, uh, 55 hours. That shit was tough. Cause my fucking mouth start, my, my, my throat and my mouth started rejecting the water because what you do is like, when you feel hungry, which is one. Alright guys, I'm running out of space on my phone, so I'm just going to close it out now. I'm done with my salad. And, uh, yeah, this was a little bit of talk on, you know, fasting and keto and on diet. And I'm pretty sure that there will be more videos like this in the future. But, uh, yeah, you know, stay hydrated. Eat good food and uh, take care of yourself.
but uh, feeling good today. I uh, hope everybody else is having a good day, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.